Unboxing and setting of the HP LaserJet Pro 4001 through 4004 N, DN, DW, and D printer series. Open the box and remove the setup guide and other documentation included with the printer. Remove the printer power cord and set it aside. Remove the styrofoam end cap from the box. With the box on its side, grasp the packaging and pull to remove the printer from the box. Remove the plastic bag from the printer. Remove the clear plastic shield from the display panel and HP symbol. Slide out the input tray and slide the paper width guides to the sides of the tray. Place paper in the tray and adjust the guides so that they are resting against the edges of the paper. Slide the tray back into the printer. Plug the power cord into the rear of the printer and plug the other end into a power source. Note, HP recommends plugging the printer directly into a wall outlet. Press the power button and the printer powers on. If you would like to set up your printer on your network with an Ethernet cable, connect one at this time. If you would prefer a wireless connection, your printer will remain in wireless setup mode for two hours. Do not connect any cables at this time and proceed to the next step. Note, this video will proceed with a wireless setup process. If you are connecting with an Ethernet cord, not all steps will pertain to you. Follow the prompts you receive on the printer and your computer to complete the Ethernet cord setup process. On the control panel, select your language and then select your country or region. The control panel then displays a URL. Depending on your model, it is either hpsmart.com slash setup or for USB only models, hpsmart.com slash download. On your computer, open a web browser and go to the URL you received on your printer. Note, you must set up the printer with a PC you cannot set up your printer with a mobile device such as a smartphone or tablet. If you received the download URL, open a web browser and go to hpsmart.com download and follow the prompts to connect with a USB cord. If you received the setup URL, open a web browser and go to hpsmart.com setup. Click Install HP Easy Start to download the software. After the software has downloaded, open the file and follow the on-screen prompts to install HP Easy Start. On the Welcome to HP Easy Start screen, select Accept All Options or Manage Options. On the Wi-Fi slash Ethernet screen, read through and select Continue. HP Easy Start searches for printers in setup mode and printers that are already connected to your network. The printers that are detected display on the screen. When the printer found screen displays, click Continue. If multiple printers are detected, click the printer that you want to set up. If the printer is not found or not listed, click My Printer is not listed and follow the on-screen instructions to search for the printer. The software begins connecting the printer to the Wi-Fi network. To confirm your proximity to the printer, a message displays in HP Easy Start with instructions to select OK on the printer control panel. On the printer control panel, press the OK button. HP Easy Start configures the printer and adds it to the network. When the network settings screen displays, click Continue. On the Choose How to Continue screen, select Get Software and Drivers to proceed with the basic setup option. If you would like to access advanced printing features, and if your printer is compatible, you can select Enable Cloud Features to proceed with the advanced setup option. This video will proceed with the basic setup option. Select Continue. On the Download Software and Driver screen, select Download. The software and drivers begin to download. On the End User License Agreement screen, read through, check the box, and select Accept. 
On the printer analytics screen, read through and select either yes or no thanks. On the application analytics screen, read through and select either yes or no thanks. The software installs. This may take a few minutes. On the Setup Complete screen, select Finish. The printer setup process is complete and you can now begin printing.